Welcome to Whipmix's free three shape tutorials. Today we're going to be covering how to set up an order, add an operator to the system, and add your doctors or labs to the system. To begin, let's open the three shape dental manager. Once the software opens, you'll see that there are quite a few different things we can do. We can sort the date by today, the last two days, last week, and last two weeks. The manager can also sort by status. This is useful because when you're designing your scanning, you can specify only the orders that fit your criteria, rather than having to find the orders one by one. Recently searched organizes orders from first search to last. You can search for specific information by typing it into the search box at the top right hand corner of your screen. To create a new order, we click on the paper icon at the top left toolbar under the orders tab. This will create a new order. Once the new order loads, you'll see a form. This form is where you specify all the information 3Shape needs to set up an order. The first thing 3Shape wants us to select is the operator, which in layman terms means whoever is scanning. We don't have one created for Whitmix tutorials, so in order to add one, we must cancel this order. The cancel button is at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Next, we're going to click on the control panel icon, which is at the top left hand corner of the screen. Once the window loads, we'll see a category called Site Settings. Make sure to click on Operators. This will bring up a window with a list of operators. If we look down below that list, we'll see a plus sign that says Add. Click on the Add button and it will create a new operator. Next, we highlight the text and delete it. Now we can type in our operator name. To set our operator as the default operator, all we must do is drag it to the top of the list on the left hand side of the screen. Now that we've added our operator to the system, we can exit out of the window. We do this by clicking the X at the top right hand corner of the screen. When we click the X, it will ask us to save, and then it will close the window and restart Dental Manager with the changes we just made. Once the dental manager opens, we can click on the paper to create the new order. This will bring us back to the same form from earlier. Now as we can see, what makes tutorials is the default operator. Now we want to add our lab to the customer's list because it's not in the list currently. To do this, we simply click on the plus sign next to the customer drop down menu. This will open up the control panel. Once the control panel opens, we'll see a list of other labs in the system. We can sort the list alphabetically by clicking in the checkbox in front of alphabetically. To add a lab, we simply just press the add text next to the plus sign. We can add a doctor by clicking the add dentist text. After we've added the lab, we need to type in a name for it. We can do this by typing the name into the user input box named name. Next, we can check whether or not the specified person has a scanner, CAD, or CAM. Now we want to click on the text that says Contact Settings. This will open up Contact Settings, allowing us to enter more information about the lab or doctor. I only fill in the contact person, but feel free to fill in as much information as you'd like. After we've filled in all the information we want into the Contact Settings, we have the option to add Dentist Dependent CAD Settings. If we click the Add button, it will create a new setting. Inside the new setting, we can specify what setting the doctor likes in his designs, and 3Shape will enforce those settings on the doctor's cases. We can edit any of those settings by double-clicking in the box we want to change. There are some more options towards the bottom of the screen that we can change, but for now, let's click the X at the top right-hand corner of the screen. When it asks you to save, make sure to say yes. The order form will reload shortly after pressing save. Once it loads, we will want to click the drop-down caret next to customer. This will bring up the list of all the customers on your system. Now we want to select the customer we just added. Now that we have our customer selected, we can input more information. I submit all the cases information into the last name. The reason being that whatever information you put into the first name by default won't be displayed in the dental manager. Now let's take a look at the order settings. In the settings, it displays the case specific order number, the importance, and the design module. By selecting the importance drop down menu, we can change the priority of the case. Each priority has a different symbol displayed in Dental Manager. 
The first priority that we can use is the normal importance. This symbol is just a blank piece of paper and will be used 80% of the time because, well, it's the default setting. The second priority that we can use is the low importance. This symbol uses the blank piece of paper like the normal one does, but also has a blue arrow facing down. This normal will be used when the case isn't due for a long period of time. The last priority that we can use is the high importance. This symbol uses the blank piece of paper like the normal one and the low one does, but also has a red arrow facing up. This one normally will be used when the case is due in a short amount of time. When selecting a tooth, we can hover over the picture to get what tooth number it is. Tooth number 1 starts around the 8 o'clock position, and the numbers go clockwise until tooth number 32. Okay, now let's go ahead and select the tooth that we will be working with. We can do this by left mouse clicking on the picture of the tooth. In order to deselect the tooth, you simply left mouse click in the white space that's next to the tooth. Now that we've chosen a tooth, we can tell through shape what material and type of restoration we are going to produce. For starters, let's take a look at the anatomy option. To do this, we go to the right hand side of the screen and left click on the anatomy button. This will bring up a submenu within anatomy. Now that we have the submenu open, we can see the other options we have within anatomy. The default option is crown. We will use this when we are creating a full contour restoration whether it be wax, zirconia, etc. The next option is the crown pontic, which we can use when designing a bridge. After pontic, we have the inlay, the onlay slash veneer, and the temporary diagnostic wax up and snap on smiles options. Now that we've chosen the type of restoration we want, we can choose the settings for this example. To do so, we simply hover over the plus button and it will open the settings menu. When we want to close the settings menu, all we have to do is either click in the white space below the settings menu or hover over the plus button. Now that we have the settings menu up, we will see a few different options. The first option is the material. This is where we can choose the material we want to mill the restoration out of. The second is color. This one doesn't affect the final product. The third is type. The type is generated from the material we choose prior to this drop down. The other settings, I would recommend you contact your milling center on because they usually have their own manufacturing settings. The next menu will open is the frame menu. Within frame we can do a simple coping, which is a coping with no buildup, a library ponic, which is a ponic with no buildup, an anatomical coping, which is a coping with buildup, an anatomical pontic, which like an anatomical coping has buildup, and the last option is wax up, which allows us to scan a wax up and base our design off of it. The menu after frame is called abutment. Within abutment, we can select from a submenu of options. The first option is titanium and is the default option. Within titanium, we can specify what system and kit we are using in the drop down boxes provided. The rest of the options within abutment work practically the same way, so I'm not going to cover them today. Below abutment is the miscellaneous menu. When we open this menu, the first option is telescope. After telescope, we can select robotic telescope. Post and core standard, post and core anatomical, and post and core retained crown. Directly under miscellaneous is the bridge option, which we will use to bridge teeth together. I will cover this in a later tutorial. Below bridge is gingiva, which allows you to add gingiva to your design. Before I end this tutorial, I'd like to show you one last thing. If we look to the top right hand corner of the screen, we will see object type, antagonist, and neighborhood scan. Object type refers to what we'll be scanning. Antagonist, it's asking us whether or not we have an opposing arch. And the neighborhood scan, it's asking us what kind of prep arch we have, whether it's unsectioned or sectioned. This concludes tutorial one of the series. If you have any questions, feel free to visit whipmix.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.